Igbo businessmen now vulnerable. ADF cries out. Eze Onuchuku alleges gang up against LP's boss. Magnus Eze, Enugu and Chimeze Brown. The Ala Igbo Development Foundation ADF has decried what it called the continued hounding of Igbo businessmen in the country, saying that they have become an endangered species. ADF also urged the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC to be cautious in its attempts to intervene in the alleged indictments of Chief Executive of Airpeace Airlines by the U.S. Department of Justice as an independent inquiry would be very essential at this point in time to establish the truth once and for all. Chairman of the group's media and publicity bureau, Chief Abia Onyike, in a statement in Enugu yesterday argued that the indictment for alleged sundry offenses in the United States cannot be regarded as a court ruling because the accused shall remain innocent on proving guilty in a court of competent jurisdiction. This is more as fresh facts have emerged to reveal that the said transactions may indeed be legitimate. The ADF retreated its call for Indigo to think home instead of what is called wandering in a foreign land. We are not unmindful of the rumors making the rounds that the trial and persecution of Oyema is a continuation of the usual Nigeria-inspired local and foreign onslaughts and conspiracy against Igbo businessmen, interests, and businessmen, which had in the past killed or paralyzed many potential businesses, business concerned, concerns Igbo, concerns owned by Igbo. The hasty intervention in the matter by the EFCC raises a lot of dust as to what game is afoot. Why Igbo businessmen all the time? Yesterday it was Ibetu, then Ifan Yoba, Nanji, Innocent, etc. And now Allen Oyema. We do not need any Susaya to define to define to define what is going on. Oyema deserves as sympathy as the only surviving frontline airline operator from the southeast. Also reacting is the Igbo Etiosa in Etiosa local government area of Lagos State, Gerard Onochuku has condemned social media attacks on FP's CEO, Chief Allen Oyema, describing it as unfortunate and in bad taste. Some bloggers had described, described Chief Oyema's response to the $20 million fraud allegation as tased by moonlight and taunted him to go to the U.S. and face his charge. But the royal father urged him to remain prayerful as his legal team knows what to do. On his chances of pulling through, Onuchuku said Oyema has good defense since his source is foreign legitimate, since his source is forest legitimately from the CBN. He urged Nigerians to remain steadfast in prayers for hoping that bright light will come at the end of dark tunnel. So, guys, uh, we've been hearing a lot of things, a lot of rumors, insinuations here and there, you know, just like uh, some people have been saying, oh, go to the U.S. and all of that. You know, when things of this nature come up, you hear people saying you no know, manner of things. Even, you, are you going to be surprised? Even Loretta Onoche, you could even hear a whole statement, even just that very day that the whole thing, the news broke out. Hey, somebody, somebody who is even from the government side, somebody who is supposed to know, you know, how to coordinate ourselves, even from the angle of the government, you know, just coming out as a market woman, just saying things, you know, ordinarily markets or maybe somebody on the streets will just be saying without even facts or whatever. Even if you have your facts, there's a way you are going to coordinate yourself and present your own opinion. But, you know, coming from her angle, you should know what she's up to. But one thing that is certain is that I, I think there's no cause for alarm. In as much Oyema knows what he did, what he has done in the past, and what how the whole thing has been going, he shouldn't be bothered. To me, he shouldn't be bothered, irrespective of how they want to paint the whole thing. Oh, it is from this place, oh, this region, they are always attacking them. To me, it is neither here nor there. If your hands are clean, no matter what people do, at the end of the day, you will come out victorious. People can say whatever they want to say, but the most important thing, if you are in the right track, if you are on the right track, if you have done the needful, if you know that your hands are clean, you don't need to bother yourself. You just go and sleep. Let people be talking. But if there's, a, if you have a case to answer, I don't think all these sentiments should come in. We know a lot of people have come together, different 
people from different regions, oh, this man has not done this because of this, because it's that, because he, he helps some people from South Africa, he brought some people, he showed, you know, uh, kind of gestures to people, maybe that is why they are uh, after him. He's neither here nor there. It's inconsequential. Let them go and dig whatever they want to dig. In as much you yourself know that of a true, you've done nothing wrong. Why not? Why must you be bothered? Why must people be bothered? Like uh, uh, this uh, ADF, you know, referring to many people, you know, from the southeast. That why is it that they are just after them? No, if you have not done anything wrong, and you know that you know that your hands are clean and your minds are clear and your transact the transactions that you've been involved in, you know, everything went smoothly. Let them dig everything where there is none. You will come out fine you will come out okay don't be bothered about all of those things and if you feel that you know you have some evidence you know concerning a kind of wind chanting you bring it out you you know it's it will help you in the long run we know how all of these things play of course you cannot rule that out you know when we talk about oh why must you be bothered if your if your hands are clean why should you be you know worried about what people say of course it is true because you can't even blame those people because it is what has been happening in the country. We know where we came from. We know what people can do. We know the extent at which people can go to bring other people down. In as much they see that you are growing, they see that you are progressing, they see that you are making impact in the lives of people. We know some people are like that. Naturally, even women, they will want to bring it down because they cannot get it. They, would, they wouldn't want other people to get it. If they cannot do what you are doing, the next thing they start they start coming after you. They start looking for things that are not even theirs. Looking for things that are not even lost. Things that are not even there in the first place. Some people are like that. If it is not them progressing, any other person cannot progress. That is their philosophy. So when people are talking from that angle, you quite understand that it's possible that it does happen. But one thing is that if you have done your own part, if you have done the needful, if you have done your own part, you know that you're ways are okay you don't need to be bothered you don't need to be bothered because from our angle we know that we always add a, a ethnic a coloration to everything that happens of course those things do happen we know that people tend to go you know go in the line of ethnicity in the line of religion in the line of a you know you know from where you came from we cannot rule all of those things out but when it involves other countries, that is when, like me, I always like, okay, just face everything. Like uh, the ADF, uh, uh, the secretary or the publicity secretary said that the lawyers know what to do. If the lawyers know what to do, don't be bothered. Don't be bothered. Of course, let them be trying. Let people be trying according to what you have, you know, you, you've experienced or according to what you have heard from rumors that they are trying to, you know, target some particular set of people from particular region. In as much, you know, you have your lawyers, let them put every documentation in place. Let every documentation be put in place. Let the lawyers go and defend them. And meanwhile, Oyema and uh, the, is a, uh, his colleague or the person working with him, uh, the Ejiro Gene of a person, they've come out to say they are going to come out, you know, with clear record and they are not guilty of anything. Of course, if they can talk in that line with their lawyers, they talk to their lawyers, they, their lawyers will come and, you know, put all of those things together, then they defend them. There's no cause for alarm. The only thing that people will want to clean John is that when they find out that, or at the end of the day, it is revealed that they themselves are guilty, that is when people will not start laughing. But in as much you have done the needful, let them cook all manner of things together. It will not work. I don't think they should be bothered about it. Like I said, we know where we came from. We know the way our people behave. You know, some people don't want other people to progress. Once they see you progressing, they are they are mad. They are jealous. They are they are frustrated, and they can do anything. Some people can do anything. They can go any length just to bring you down. But you yourself should make sure that you are you are right. You know, you've done everything right in your own way, so that irrespective of whatever anybody is bringing or gang of people or group of people are trying to look for things that are not there, you are going to come out, you know, uh, 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 innocent. Come out 
victorious. So guys, that is just my own thinking and my own opinion concerning what the ADF is saying that the businessmen are the targets now. They are vulnerable. I don't think they should be vulnerable in as much as they do the right thing. So guys, what do you think? Leave your comments below in the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye.